Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A minute ago, I uploaded a video where I discussed a big development, and that was reported by the Ukrainians. But the Ukrainians did not report it as big development, but uh, you have to read between the lines in order to realize um, that was a big development. And that was the Ukrainians ordered mandatory evacuation of children from Kherson Oblast, 23 settlements, 802 children. That tells me that the Russians are coming. That is, they are on the way to Kiev. Now, that's one. Now we have a general piece of information coming again from the Ukrainians. You have to, as I said, read between the lines in order to find out what's going on and pay attention, look for patterns. The Ukrainians will tell us where the Russians are trying to push through to break the front. And they're going to tell us the whole front. Let me show you. This article comes from the Ukrainian side. And this is Ukraine form, but it's MENA FN. And it's defense forces repel Russian attacks in seven sectors. General staff. Now, because obviously I have an accent and maybe I don't understand things, you know. <laughs> um, I was looking what the hell repel means. Because I know exactly what, but I just want to make sure I don't talk smack. So repel means drive or force an attack or attacker back or away so you got an attacker and you just drive him or force him back you know you force him back they sought to repel the enemy with their machine guns all right so these guys are repelling them somehow right repulsive or distasteful that's a different story all right so we go back to the article let's see what's going on here right to the the one that they forces repel Russian attacks. So the Russians attacked, but they were pushed back. So who's attacking? The Russians, the other guys defended. Now, it's very strange that these guys say on seven sectors. Uh, I have a map and we're going to figure out where those sectors are. This is according to the Ukrainians. The defense forces of Ukraine repelled enemy attacks in the Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka, Marinka, Shaktarske, and Zaporozhye directions. That is the entire front line, except Ker Kerson, the one that I mentioned in the other um, video. So let's look at this, starting from Kupiansk, ending in Zaporozhye. That's from north to south. Let's get this right here, coming from Sputnik, that's my favorite map, I think is the most uh, the clearer. I mean, you see it colors like tards, you, <laughs> you can uh, figure things out easily. So we have this, right? Uh, if uh, the, this is going to work right here. So Kupiansk is right here in the north. So these guys repelled the Russian attacks from Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka, Marinka, they didn't say this, Shakhtarsk is right here. Shaktarsk, and I said Shaktarsk, Bakhmut, Liman, uh, how's that, uh, what was that name of that? It's just uh, not that one. Kupiansk, so Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdiv, Kamarinka, Shaktarsk, and Zaporozhye. Yeah, I was right with that. So again, Kupiansk, Liman, Bakhmut, Avdivka, Marinka, Shaktarsk, and this is Zaporozhye. This is where the so-called steady offensive Ukraine offensive occurred and occurs I think it's been dead in the first three days when it started and I will explain why now if you go a little bit south this is Kherson the Ukrainians ordered mandatory evacuation of 23 settlements children from 23 settlements in Kherson Oblast why not because the Ukrainians are moving south otherwise you don't need to uh, <coughs> evacuate your kids right because the other guys are coming over, right over. So you can, from the seven sectors, these guys mentioned in the article, right? From the seven sectors, okay. I don't think so. From the seven sectors, we go to this. All right, so screw you. 
if you think you can do it. So here it is. Seven sectors meaning this right here plus Kherson. So go and watch the other video that I made and it's going to explain what's going on there. So let's read the, um, the other, the original, the initial article. As many as 38 combat clashes have occurred. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said this is this in its evening update, Ukraine Forum reports. In the past day, 38 combat clashes have been recorded along the front line. The operational situation in the area and south of Ukraine remains difficult. When it's bad, they call it dynamic. <laughs> okay? The defense forces of Ukraine continue con to conduct the offensive operation in the Melitopol sector, offensive assault, actions in the Bakhmut sector. All right, that would be right here. This is Bakhmut Avdivka right here, All right? And Melitopol is right here in Zaporozhye. So they, they say, we're still attacking Melitopol and we're still attacking Bakhmut. I don't think so. I think you're in a defense mode, my friends. Now, Ukrainian defenders inflict manpower and equipment losses on the Russian troops, weakening the enemy along the entire front line. All right. Um, Russian forces have no strategic success in eastern directions. OK, that's it. Now, it says in total, the Russian army launched one missile attack and 52 airstrikes, 15 attacks using multiple launch rocket systems on the positions of Ukrainian troops and populated areas during the day. As a result of Russian terrorist attacks, there are dead and wounded among the civilian populations. Well, why don't we ask the Russians if they agree with that? As we asked Israel if they agreed with that hospital. Remember? Uh, here, so unless the Russians agree with that or to that, then that's true. But I guess the Russians will say, no, we didn't kill any civilian population. What are you talking about? And then Biden is going to say, I trust the Russians. Why? Because I like them better. All right. So again, damage was caused to residential buildings and other civilian infrastructure. By whom? I think by the Ukrainians. I think so. No? I mean, just use the same stupidity in Israel, uh, Palestine. All right. Little conflict. They call it Hamas. I don't think Israel wants to take care of Hamas only. I think Israel has to take care of other things. So let me tell you here. How the counter of how the Ukrainian counteroffensive uh, was when it started. I think it started in a Sunday, and the Russians said the counteroffensive started. The West was zipped, nothing. The Ukrainians zipped. Only the Russians said the counteroffensive started. Monday, I think it was Saturday evening. Saturday evening and then Sunday it was and then Monday nothing Tuesday nothing I made videos those days those days saying hey the counteroffensive is already in but these guys are shutting up because they they can't report any successes because if there would be any success they would immediately tell us but probably they bing 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 bang 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 nothing therefore they don't want to say hey we started the counteroffensive and for three days four days nothing happened because when you start a counteroffensive, the mo one of the most important elements is the element of surprise. So if that, you take that away, kind of strange, you know, the element of surprise. Let me give you another example. Remember, <clears throat> during the weekend, it was that fight between uh, uh, Islam Makachev and Alexander Volkanovsky. I like both of them a lot. I think they're example of martial artists, both of them. I like them very much. But they had to fight again. And uh, Islam Makachev knocked uh, Alexander Volkanovsky down, out, however you want it, with a Mawashi round kick, bam, to the head, over his block, on top, like Mirko Krokop, as he used to do. If you watch him knocking out um, Brazilian, what's his name, uh, the axe murderer, what was his name? Oh, my God. I've, well, anyway, that's Silver. Silva, what was his name? I can't remember, man. Anyway, my goes in other direction. So anyway, he knocked him out, and <clears throat> that was the second fight between uh, um, not Silva. What the hell was his name? Anyway, man, 
So, um, in this fight between Makachev and uh, Volkanovsky, the kick was one kick. It was nothing in between. It was just wound down low because he kicked low and in the middle a few times and then went low and then a little bit up, like slowing it down. Bam. So the guy blocked, back, down. That's an easy, stupid kick. Why? If you fall from one kick or one punch straight without anything in between, you know, to hide it, then uh, that's... But that was a surprise thing. A surprise. And the guy thought, I got it. I'm blocked. No, you're not really. You know? So anyway, the same here. If that surprise, element of surprise disappears, it's just a mawashi. It's just a round kick. That's all. Poop or poop or poop or hoop. You have many, 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 uh, or just like this, you don't let it go up. You just go with the hand down here and then it doesn't go up. It goes here in between, comes here, grab it and boom. Anyway, so my friends, um, the same. Th nothing happened over there in the counterattack. This guy zip it for about a week. And I said, these guys are keeping quiet because the Ukrainians are not breaking the front. And after a week, they said, actually, yes, the counteroffensive started. And uh, nyum, 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 nyum. it was dead from the very beginning. The element of surprise was out. The impact, the first impact, it was gone. And nothing else happened. A little bit here. And, okay. And then a little bit back. Nothing. That was the counteroffensive. So, uh, again, here, we'll find, we're going to find out what's going on with this big counteroffensive that i think the the ukrainians are just uh in the retreat mode that's i think uh they will not say it it's so but i think in um in the next maybe week next week maybe two weeks i think the ukrainians if the russians probably were going to start saying well we advance here we broke over here blah, 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 maybe the ukrainians will say well the situation is dynamic so the fact is seven sectors this guy's attack plus plus Kherson, which they zip it. But watch the other video I made. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. And remember, Israel is there. So <clears throat> it needs everything it can get uh, from Al Capone and it will. <laughs> See you later, my friends.